around everyone. So as you can see, there's a crack right there in my MacBook. And this is the piece that used to fit in there, but it just chipped off, went away, and now it's no good to me anymore. So this is going back to the Apple Store again. And this is the second time I'm repairing this, this exact same problem. So just to give you a bit of a background as to uh, what happens, um, currently all MacBooks and MacBook Airs employ a magnetic latch system. In theory, it's a good idea because that means there's no physical latches to break, nothing to get snagged on your clothes. Um, there should be a more reliable way of closing the lid on your laptop. So what Apple did is that they uh, designed a set of magnets behind or inside the, the upper lid up here. So one set of magnets up here, and they have a second set of magnets in the bottom portion of the casing. So they use the magnetic properties, um, different polarities. Um, as you close the lid, magnets get closer to each other, pull each other in, and uh, that's how your lid is kept in place. So they just took the concept of the MagSafe connector and extended it for lids, which is actually a pretty smart idea. It is a, uh, I mean, it should work well, and it does work well because the lid stays in place, stays intact. Problem is, is that um, Apple also felt it was necessary to include these little stubs on the upper portion of the lid right here. Now what these little stubs do is it creates a gap of separation between the keyboard and the screen. And as you can tell, my keyboard's pretty dirty, dirty right here. So what they don't want happening is that they don't want the keyboard to come into direct contact with the screen. Um, all MacBooks and MacBook Airs come with a glossy screen. So what can happen over time is that the oil from your fingerprints can transfer onto the keyboard onto the screen and it's going to eat away at the glossy cold and that happens too so what Apple thought of doing was um, just putting these little stubs on the top of the lid to try and uh, give you a bit of a space now technically it kinda does work there are still ways that uh, you can bend right in the middle of the screen and it's going to affect you over here in the middle of the keyboard and there are ways you can get marks in the middle of the screen but it is a sound and valid idea and I can see why they wanted to try and do this up here problem is, is that over time as you repeatedly open and close the lid of any MacBook um, this little uh, stub right here is going to come down repeatedly and um, over time the plastic that they're using or the manufacturing process isn't holding up because apparently the little stub's going to come into contact with the bottom case and it's going to start causing fatigue cracks in the upper casing with the keyboard. So, like I said, this is the second time that this is happening. I have to, uh, well, I made my appointment for the Apple Store. I'm going to go over there later on this afternoon, drop it off at them. Hopefully I can get it back before the end of the weekend. Um, right now it's a Friday. So hopefully I can get it back by Sunday or Monday. That would be nice. So uh, that's the current situation right now. Um, yeah, luckily I'm under Apple Care. Uh, they should be able to just fix it. Hopefully it's going to be an in-house repair. Uh, they usually turn it around in about, let's see how many days, in about a day or two. And theoretically, this is a 10 or 15 minute fix because uh, they really know how to take apart. I mean, this is this is pretty easy to actually take the whole top casing off. I mean, I could probably do it. I would void my warranty, but it's simple enough. I, I, sh I should be able to know how to do it. But I paid for the warranty. They're going to do the work, replace the part, and give it back to me. It's just disconcerting because I'm going to be without my Mac for about a day or two. And it's also because this is the second time I'm bringing this in for the exact same problem. So, that's just one thing to, uh, I don't know, it's irritating. 
So hopefully they have version 3 out of the top casing and maybe that will fix it. I don't know. Alright, well, that's about it. Peace.